Hello and welcome back to the Yogscast. Today, me and Ben are going to have a look at Into the Breach. This is the new game from the creators of FTL. Yeah. Um, and, and it's got a lot of hype. Everyone's, everyone's hyping it up. And from what I've seen and from what Ben's seen, we already love I'm it. I'm excited. It's going to be a big thing. If you want to pick it up, mm-hmm. you can get it on GOG with our referral code as well. Yeah. Get a free copy of FTL. It's a link in the description. And yeah, that supports us. So so why not? We get some money and you get free FTL. So this Hooray. is a little bit of bit Lewis and Ben for those people who haven't have been who've been hankering for a bit of Lewis and Ben on Lewis and Ben channel action. But due to the holidays and stuff, we've been away a little bit. So we thought we'd give you a little little dose of this. A little bit of saving the world with giant robots. Rather than a cup of tea, we have peach iced tea. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so go on, gang. Give, mm. me, give me the give me the brief before. Oh. So um, we've been sent back in time to stop kaiju destroying the Earth. It's Pacific Rim. It's Pacific Rim with uh, time travel. So um, I watched Pacific Rim actually on the plane. Me and Shin oh, have nice. this this. Um, it's kind of like a ritual, right? Uh, where, where, whenever Pacific Rim is available for us to watch, <laughs> you have to. We watch have it. to watch it. Yes, <laughs> wow. or at least put it on. We right. kind of we kind of know the film. Yeah, every single bit now. I suppose so, it's just a few bits, the highlights that you look up for to like watch the cool bits. Well, no, we don't even have to skip forward. Just just let it go yeah. in the background Tune in while you're out. doing something else. Nice. It's quite. It's a good film for it's that. It's a rule. You should, uh, you should, you should um, try that rule. It's fun. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I haven't got enough coins to buy any of the new mechs. So we're just going to go with. You the have, haven't you? You've got two coins. Oh, I've got two coins. Ooh. Rusting hulks. So are these, weather manipulators. So these are basically t- picking a ship, right? Like in FTL, you pick a different. Yeah, different faction. loadout of. Um, of I want you to pick the second no, one. We'll go I with the regular know. ones because I know what these guys do, and I don't want to have to read. All you, the have new to, ones. you have to. You're not ready to relearn. <laughs> no. Okay. Um, cool. When we go. So this is um, it's turn-based strategy. Do you want to oh, fight in the desert or on a, on a green gosh. island? That nope. desert looked like a very delicious donut, didn't it? Actually, Should we go back to Donut Land. This is, it looks like Australia. Oh uh, no, we've committed. We're com- we've picked. It. This is a hardcore type game. <laughs> yeah. There's no going back. There's no going back. You can't <laughs> can't do that. Um, so we're going to defend this island, and these are the rewards you can get for each of these missions. Yeah. The stars are like. Um, uh, friendliness with this corporation. Yeah. And then after you've completed the island, you can spend all your stars on upgrades from that company. You got it. Um, and the uh, lightning bolts are your power grid. Yeah. If the power grid falls to zero, you lose the game. Game over. Game over. Um, so let's go over here. Bam. Our mission. Uh, this island's ancient weather station, power stations, can meet your mech's every need. Try to prevent any damage to the grid. So there's going to be monsters. You've read that completely wrong, Ben. But we're not going to worry about that. <laughs> just press, just press go. Going and, in. And, so, so basically, this is a, a strategy game, mm-hmm. um, and of course, it's going with the awesome pixel art. And of course, it's a, it's another one of these games. Also, it's a game which apparently has perfect information. Yeah, it's a bit like Slay the Spire in that respect. Like it will tell you what all the enemies are going to do in their turn. Yeah, and then you can plan accordingly. Exactly. So they've got uh, a, a kind of a, a jelly, a jelly sort okay. of a jelly blob. So jelly jellyfish blob friend is, is buffing all the other things. So he can also fly. And he, yeah, he's flying, and all the other monsters are now explosive while he's alive. Okay. So in, until we kill this guy, every time we kill a bug, it's gonna blow up. Okay. So we want to take him down first. Yeah. Uh, also, this bug's gonna shoot our fighty mech. This bug's gonna shoot our tank. And two new bugs are going to appear over here. Okay, so exactly. So we know exactly what's going to happen. And if I move this mech out of the way, then the bug's going to shoot the building instead. I see. So we have to be kept. So we want we want to protect those three buildings. Yeah, every time a building takes a hit, you lose a uh, power. Okay. And if we take the bonus objective on this mission is to lose less than three. So we can lose a couple. We can, but this is permanent across the entire campaign. Okay. So any we lose here is less we can lose later on. Okay, so we don't really want to lose any bonus if we can avoid it. And lastly, there's a pod from the future with some technology. We <laughs> want to either not let it die and collect it at the end. Might be from the past, Ben. Hmm. Surely it's from the past. Why would it be from the future? Because of time travel. Oh. But time travel's easier to go forward. You just have to bury it. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, a ti- it's a Blue Peter time capsule <laughs> that someone buried here for yeah. this moment. Hopefully they didn't put the turtle in it by accident or anything. <laughs> yeah. But actually, you're probably all right, that turtle. Um, so our mechs have got... We've got three different mechs. We've got Punchy Mech. who can punch. And he can punch one space. He does two damage and he pushes the enemy in the direction of his punch. Okay. Well, can okay. we push that thing into water? We can. And, and they, the ones that don't fly instantly die if they go in the water. Fantastic. Should I do that now? Well, that's a, that's a pretty good move. We can do that, I think. So that's we'll move. A- that's a good... And punch. Splat. 
so that, that 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 that's one down. Mm -hmm. Good riddance, and that's and that saved our city too. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So now, what I want to do a really good move in this game is if you put an enemy over where another enemy is going to appear, uh -huh. the new enemy doesn't appear, and that guy who's sick on top takes a damage. Okay. It to, like burrow underneath him. So if we can push this boy back, like the artillery, for example, he does this thing where he hits the target for one damage, and then everyone adjacent gets pushed. Away from the, the artillery. This is going to damage. That's going to knock our guy into the yeah. water. So if we move, that, our, our guys don't die in water. Okay. So what we can do is if we move this tank out of the way. Like we move him over here. Towards then, the time pod. Towards the time pod, and then we artillery strike like this. Now it's going to damage our own dude, but it's there we go. It doesn't actually damage him. It just pushes. Oh, them. okay. We've hit him for one, and we've pushed those guys. Okay. And then this tank is going to. Oh no! I've messed this up actually. If I shoot him now, it'll damage him, but it'll push him into this forest. Which and means then, he'll shoot the town. And then he'll town. shoot the town. So it's probably better to take a hit on our mech. He's got two health. Are we okay to have that happen? Uh, I'd rather lose uh, health, because health mechs repair at the end of the mission for free. Okay. But if they die, you lose the pilot and all their XP. Oh no. Well, we can't have that happening. So we just need to... So we're, we're actually going to pass the turn here. Yeah, and let just... him hit that, because I don't want to lose a building. And, and then, then, oh, he got a... Got an, an enemy come up his ass. Yeah, and exactly. gave him a little tickle. Okay, so they they actually the the ones that spawned moved straight away as well, which was interesting. Yeah, they don't attack with the time they appear, but they do. They do move. They do move. So now we've got more decisions to make. So mm. so our tank could shoot in a line. Does it hit everyone in the line? No, just the first thing it hits. Get if you knock them back into another enemy, do they take damage? The, they both take one damage. Yeah. Um, so for example, yeah, the tank could shoot him there, and then. That would kill both of them. Yeah. That's pretty good. I'd say we should do that. I am. And now nice. because he's dead, they didn't he didn't explode. Because exactly. you killed him in the same turn. he killed the buff monster. So now we need to get the time pod and get out of here. Uh, and we can't do that because we can use yeah, him. Yeah, because we fired. So I guess we just need to pound this guy. If I walk up here and punch him, like so, and then artillery strike him that way. That way. He'll die when his friend tries to come up. Okay. This is going fantastic, Ben. Very <laughs> yeah. We have taken a damage, but we didn't lose a building. So exactly. that's fine. And then all these different enemies do different things. This guy's going to leap. Oh, and this guy's webbed us. So he did actually get to move so a, the, a, a special attack. The web isn't an attack. It's just if he ends his move next to you, he webs you. Okay. Um, and then he's going to attack us this turn if we don't do something about well, it. Well, we can... We can I can see what we can do here. Yeah, so we can we can do the same we did last turn. Well, and push we can... him and then artillery him. Yeah, but also we can get our little fella, our other tank down there. Can he deal with that cockroach on his own? Uh, what is that thing? Scarab. scarab. What does it oh. do? Oh. Oh no, you ended turn I by ended accident. turn by accident. <laughs> you pressed... Um, I pressed... 84 casualties! <laughs> oh no, it's a disaster. Sorry. Okay. I thought I was bringing up the more info button, but I hit the end turn button by mistake. Oh, you dis... Oh my god, what a disaster. Okay, this is this is going very wrong. Well, okay. Um, okay, we can't let our artillery die. That'd be really bad. So, we're in a bit of a bad situation here. We've lost a bit. We've lost a bit of town. What happened? We had a blackout. We just yeah, the commas freeze. Everyone got a bit cocky, and they were all doing their like their victory salute. So we're going yeah, take that, and then the bugs just attack. So there's no undo. We can't. We can't. There's no undo. We can't go back. There is this reset turn button. That okay. You can use once. Um, per battle. Once per battle. Okay. Where you, you start the turn again because you miscalculated. Right. So we're going to push him out of the way, which frees up the artillery. It's like a free misclick fixer. Yeah. One misclick fixer. You can't fix the ending turn because then it's too late. I see. Which is what we did. Which is what we did. So a punchy mech has freed the artillery. That's yeah. good. So the artillery has to move or get jumped on by the beetle. And we need to knock this guy about. What we've done here is we've grammatically increased the difficulty. This is what we have. men like to do. Yeah, we, we like to games. make things hard on ourselves for some reason. Um, oh, that's that. These look. This looks bad. Yeah. What we need to do is knock this beetle back somehow. What just to get him because he's just, just so he that attacks. he's not. So we attack something that isn't a building. Right. Um, but our tank can't move while he's webbed. Okay, so now we have to really think carefully. How to fix this? Oh, yeah. Ben, you, you, we've put us in. We've put ourselves in a right pickle. <laughs> we really have. What about? So there's five bugs now. Is this all the bugs that are going to spawn as well? Well, but victory in one turn. Oh, I see. So we only need to survive one more turn. We could let him blow up a building. So do we just want to preserve that building and then not have any of our dudes die? Exactly. 
that dude won't die. He's only going to get hit twice. Oh, uh, yeah, the tank's safe. Left. It's the artillery that has to move. So we need to... What can we use our, our walker? The walker's already been to free the artillery. Oh, crap. Um, We could... We could... Could we knock back our own tank? Yeah. Into the water? And that won't kill him, right? Uh... But we can move could the tank, not... we can go artillery to here, and then bombard here, pushing the tank into the forest, and then the tank can push the beetle. Do we want to lose the artillery, though? We won't lose the artillery, because the beetle's jumping. Ah, okay. Do you mean the beetle's going to jump over us? Oh, I there. see. So all we need to do is move out the way. So we do this. We're still going to lose the buildings. Works. Oh, I see. Now we can... can push him. Okay. Like that. So we have lost one building by accident, but... I think that's that's all we're going to lose now. Because he's going to leap. Oh, he doesn't leap. Okay, he's, he spooches. He misses. He misses. We still get shot. He and leaps. And then we win. Oh, well. We, we snatched victory from the jaws <laughs> of defeat. We, <laughs> we almost, oh, that was almost really messed that one up, Ben. So don't press spacebar. Turns out that that is a bad decision. Um, okay, and in the pod... But you, did you actually get the pod? We did get the pod. Well, because the, the aliens didn't destroy the pod, so we pick it up at the end of the battle. Okay. And we get a new pilot who gives us an extra undo. Well, that would be very useful. It's kind of cool. And he's got loads of XP. Okay. And I'm a ready. reactor core to upgrade a mech. Okay. Oh, cool. So we rescued a guy with a with a, with a reactor. Do, do we want to replace one of our existing guys? Hmm. So, he gets XP quicker. Yes. We That's want probably to keep a good him. thing to keep on there. But the tank driver and the artillery driver... This guy's only got one XP. Let's swap, swap him, him out. out. Yeah. Why not? Isaac Jones from the future! So when he gets to max XP, what happens? Does he get a new skill? Three, yeah, he gets a new okay. skill. Cool. And we have a reactor we can install, so we can... Um, Upgrade like the health or the movement. What's the most important building mech? Do you think it depends on our playstyle, I suppose. I mean, getting the puncher an extra move is quite nice. Gives him more options. Yeah, I like I like the um, the knockback. I like being able to use that as like a disrupt thing. Plus, he does two damage when he punches them, which is yeah you know, more. Well, he's usually punching them into something or onto something, which will finish them off. So I don't think he necessarily needs more damage. Uh, let's give him a move. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Just the edge this mech needs. So you can only have one extra move. Uh, yeah, this little symbol is how many reactor cores it costs to upgrade. So oh, if I plus see. two damage would cost us three reactor cores. Ah, uh, yeah. And you can you can move them around. Like once we oh. have more, we can like give them two. Oh, I see. Instead. So okay, so you can swap out the move for the for the um for the uh, upgrades and stuff. Yeah, and once we've got more, we can go. Okay, no more movement. Now all into damage. Okay. I like. Cool. Um, so now we've got another choice. So we can rescue the old earth park for money, cash money, or uh, this one, which is gave us a cash money and, uh, and a power grid. Do we want to just do all of them? Is there no downside to like just uh, getting them all eventually, done? Eventually, we get, we'll get near the end of this island, and then the aliens just conquer it all. Uh, oh. Everything we haven't done. You only get to do about 60% of the missions Spoilers. on Spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> um... So we've done um, North, New South Wales in Australia. We've done the bit <laughs> of all that desert. This is real bad desert here. Let's do this. Let's do Old Earth Park. I, I like trains. There's a train here. Well, this is our mission. Defend the train. Oh, fuck. So There's the already three aliens here. Yeah. Shit. They, they're going to move. Um, well, they they won't, won't attack us on the first turn, though. Oh no, they'll gosh. move, but they won't attack. Okay, so they're threatening he's the, train. the train. He's, he's spitting on him, and he's going to threaten that. Really. The train's going to hit him. Oh, my God, there's two aliens jumping in. Wow, this is stressful. Straight in there. So what's going to happen first? Um, the enemies one, two, three are going to happen. So he's going to spit, claw, spit. Right. Then the train's going to ram him. Oh. And then um, the enemies are going to appear. Fuck. Okay, so we, do we want the train to ram someone? Because um, that will, like, add value to us it, it damages both of them we lose part of the train and the enemy oh does. so we want to but but do, can we lose a bit of the train do we need all the, does, um, do we need all the train we basically we, there's two parts of the train and we get one star for each bit of the train okay survives. so we get more money if the whole train lives yeah so we don't really want the train to smash into stuff but no, that's a cool idea what we probably want to do is if we push this bug out of the way 
Bug's not shooting train. Train's got a clear movement. Okay, and he's going to get killed. When by... the new guy tries to burrow up underneath him. So does that stop the guy burrowing too? Yeah. Okay, excellent. It's perfect. That is a good outcome. Um, We've got old Punch Boy. I'd like to get Punch Boy free to like go and. Do punch, oh, I see. Because he's boys. being webbed. Because he's been webbed, he can't move until he's been freed. But that does involve. Well, we only have the artillery to do that, which is tricky. You have to decide where do you want to drop that artillery. Yeah. I'm not sure. Because if we drop it on the enemy, it will push our mech into the building, which would be bad. Can your artillery strike those mountains behind the that bug? Well, the artillery attacks in straight lines like this. Oh, crap. Um, so I don't think we've got... No, that building is tricky to save. I don't think we can save that building. I don't see any way we can get to him. Unless we free the mech, and then the mech goes one, two, three, four, and punches him to death. How do we free the mech, though? Um, we could artillery our own mech. Let's do it. It's madness. Oh, but, no, but then that's still in the way. Push him out of the way. Oh, yeah, then... But then we get one, two, three, four... It's risky, because we'd artillery our own mech, and then this thing would burrow up underneath the mech, and we'd take two damage in total. Ooh. We'd on one health. Still, we've got a building there. We got, can't risk it, can we? There's people in that building, Ben. So there's a 15% chance that um, the building will survive the hit. Oh, 15? That's not very good. <laughs> <laughs> Feel great. That's a particularly... I wouldn't take 15% if someone said, oh, you know, do you want to live in this place? There's a 15% chance it'll survive an earthquake. Okay. Ooh, that doesn't sound um, Yeah, ideal. it's not great, is it? There's a 15% choice, chance you'll lose an eye in this surgery. No surgery, please. So, obviously, we've... we've, we've the, the first move we took is already locked in, but... Yes. Well, I think that was a solid I, move. I feel like that's our... So it's cleared the train and it's killed this bug. Yeah, I feels like feels like it's done two in one. There. It's like a win to me. Um, well, let's, we're gonna have to just lose the building, I think, aren't we? We or can or artillery. We can punch that guy away, then artillery him. Yeah, that's true. Just let let that let that building go. Yeah. Oh no! If we artillery him, then uh, we'll push this guy off of that square. Oh, it should be bad. We can just. Um, I'm gonna go here and do that. Okay, because that banged him against the mountain. At least yeah. did one damage. At least that's better than doing nothing. Oh dear, this building's gonna get munched. Oh well. Oh, so, what's your favourite Pacific Rim mech? If you had to drive one of those mechs, which one would it be? I don't know. I I I don't like any of them. I feel like. <laughs> I Not even like, the really big clunky Russian one. Well, I feel like I feel like they're all as bad as each other. They they should all. I don't know. I'm a big fan of like Gundam. I'm a big fan. Uh, okay. of I'm a big fan of the the more streamlined. You like the fancy Japanese, uh, Japanese, Japanese mechs. mechs. I mean, oh, the, the, the Japanese opposite. mech in in Pacific Rim is a bit bit themed like that, but not like. That's got all the spinning blades and shit, isn't it? I mean, the big thing about Pacific Rim is the swords, right? Yeah, I mean, they kind of make every other weapon completely irrelevant. It is very odd that that they 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 have to bring those out as a last resort when they're clearly the best weapon <laughs> by quite some margin. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, you're gonna knock the guy into the river here. Oh yeah. Oh no, I have to move the tank out of the way first. Why? Um, because the train will get pushed into the <gasps> tank. And oh get crap. Damaged. Um, so if I move this tank to here. Knock him off. I mean, the city's knackered anyway, right? So... Um, and then I'm going to repair the artillery. Oh! Can you do that? Okay. Or I could just shell him, I suppose. Yeah, let's just Take him, him down. Plan. You don't have to deal with him next turn. Yeah. There's three more coming. The train's getting away, though. Yeah, we're doing a good job, I think. Okay. It's, it's another one of these things that makes all the others explode. Why is he now... Th threatening that town. Because that, that's his attack. Next turn he'll attack Oh, well, you can the town can be damaged twice. Oh, yeah, no. The, the, these, oh. There's two buildings here, so they can be hit twice. These ones are only one building. They can only be attacked once. Okay. Um, hmm. What do we want to do? We definitely want to save that town. But he will explode because of the brain bug. Oh, yeah. Well, maybe we just want to nudge him out of the way then. 
Yeah, just give him a little little tap. We could we could tap the other guy into him. Can can our mech run around the side? Can Ralph get behind? Can Ralph get up to the mountains? Not quite. Um, what if we get out of the way and just, like, deal with that? He's not a problem anymore. Yeah, he's fine. The train's getting away, so we're all right. So that's, we're happy with that. We just and run everyone away, I guess. This guy's gonna, this. Do they get more XP if they can get a kill? Yeah, yeah. Smash him into the mountain. We'll take uh, the XP. Yeah, we'll just take, take XP. Okay. And then we'll just let the rest of the town deal with the brain bug <laughs> and the other guy. <laughs> oh, no, no, it's all right. No, go on. <laughs> Luckily, they retreated before we just got out of there, jumped on the back of the train. Ah. Here we go. It was a bit of a rocky start, but we, we covered we covered it. Claw in it back. Um, uh, right, Elec so preserves. A, uh, a destroy the dam mission. We have to destroy the dam. Yeah. End the battle with less than four mech damage. Okay. And destroy the dam. Is that going to flood that everywhere? That will flood the region. Should but we, we can swim, yeah. Yeah, yeah, our guys can swim. These bugs can't. Um, what's, what, what, what is your thinking with the deployment? It's just wild. It's just kind of wild, because I don't know what... They can move before I get to do anything, so it feels kind of... Like, the deployment doesn't matter too much. Right, I see. But maybe I'm wrong. I've, I've only played this for, like, an hour before we started recording. So, we want to get... So the... We do want to consider some damage to that dam. Now, if I, I'm just going to do this as a sample. Okay. Uh, so these are the tiles that are going to get flooded. I think. No, no, they're the tiles I can attack. I don't know how much of this area is going to get flooded when the dam breaks. Um, but units can't attack in water, so it says that. I mean, it's only got two life that dam. Yeah. Although our artillery and our tank only deal one damage, the puncher deals two. Oh, I see. Well, we should we should definitely consider. Um, should we just hit the dam early, so that we know that it's done? If we hit the dam, how are we going to push that? Yeah, yeah, okay. Let's hit the dam so, early. If I push this guy back, that doesn't really help. But bring the mech in, punch the dam. Oh shit! Okay. Cool. Well, the mech's okay. He can um, knock him back once. And then I'll knock him back into the um, the spawn point. He's still got to attack, but we're, we can take a bit of damage. I think this is fine. Wow, dam's already done. Oh, um, so we want to end with less than four mech damage to get a bonus. Yeah, so our guys can heal instead of attacking. Okay. Which is nice. Um, I, oh, I want to push these guys onto these things. Yeah, Just we stopping can, more enemies turning up. You kind of can. Bosh him over there. Pop him over there. Who takes? He does two damage anyway, right? So he can just yeah, he can just walk here and kill that. Kill that. We're gonna take a mech damage. But we can then start. I'd rather out. take mech damage than building damage, because we can heal the mech damage. Okay. This is great. Okay. What do you reckon? I think we knock that guy back on we knock we just knock keep keep with the knockback, so oh, there's a guy. That's that's dodgy, that guy around the back fighting that building. Oh yeah. But oh, we, we can, can knock him. We can, can artillery him. strike him into the water yes. with the artillery. If we move the artillery down the coast, we can throw him into the water. No, oh yeah, that yeah, way. throw him Perfect. into the yeah, water. Kill him. Nice. Good okay. work. That was a good use. We want to probably punch one guy back. If we punch him, if we punch the top one back, we can then go around with the tank and punch the guy onto the... Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. I like that a lot. So kill him. And then the Move tank drives right here. here and pushes him into the spawn point. Yeah, and that saves the building as well. But our mech is going to take another damage. Yeah. So we have to start healing now. Oh, we've already... Maybe if we heal, we can bring that back. Oh, I don't think so. Crap. Oh, it says, does it end with less than four minutes? Yeah. Maybe it will come back. Oh, jeez. Okay, we can knock more of them yeah. into the water so here. This, this guy's going to knock him into the water. Sploosh. Ah, <laughs> watery grave. Nice. He can um, heal. He can heal himself. Oh, we did. We got, the, <laughs> we got, we got it back. <laughs> we got the mission back. And then we can back. artillery strike that guy into the water. Then we've won. Perfect. 
Oh man, you've got the hang of this. Oh, it's all coming together, man. <laughs> yes. This is what it's like. <laughs> this is how you save the world. There is some bed save the world. This is oh, really perfect this is victory. This is the perfect, perfectly named game for our <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my god, a thousand civilians saved. Oh, these guys have both got promoted. Plus one mech reactor, amazing. Understood. For movement. Oh, Understood. Yeah. Okay, so he's got two power now. So we could do a, we could have a dash. Is that because he leveled up? Yeah, his le when he's level up was an extra Oh, reactor. I see. I think the dash might be very flexible. Charge any distance before punching the target. Oh. So in a straight line, move as far as you want. That's not actually very flexible, is it? Mm. It's it's more almost like it's, it's, it's almost like extra four. movement. Hmm. I mean, if if you're charging, you might get an extra an extra move out of it. If you're going from one end of the map to the other, it's massive, but it that won't happen relevant. very often. No. Maybe we just give him the health. Give him the health. Yeah, we can always swap it later. Um, we we use the health often. We we yeah. do we tank we use a bit of tanking on him. Extra move of the artillery. Well, that's okay. It's not. We like the extra nice. move with the artillery. That's helpful um, to get into cool. position. Should we go? Which one's this? How are we doing for power? Do we want to? Do we want to get another power? Or do we want to get money? Uh, we're kind of mid on power. Let's get a power. Do you want this? Again? That's got tidal waves. That's quite fun. Let's do tidal waves. We haven't had tidal waves before. I feel like uh, we're pretty good against water. Yeah, exactly. We're pretty we're strong. So what this means is this yellow line here. At the end of the turn, that will all become water. Okay. And it will keep coming in. Excellent. So if we can just push them towards the water, they'll eventually all drown. Yeah. I like it. Uh, maybe if we send the tank like around the side and start pushing them up that way. That's a good idea. Yeah, the artillery can pretty much just stay at the back. Okay. We've arrived. We're going to save you. What we needed to do here, Ben, was prepare by building a gigantic wall. <laughs> the um, wall was the worst thing in the for him. <laughs> like, why did they think that way? If you're going to build a wall, build it around the portal. I mean, how <laughs> how much coastline did they have to build around? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> so dumb. <laughs> so dumb. Um, well, I think we just want to... I think you just move the big big boy out one tile, one tile and punch that guy into the into the tidal yeah. wave, right? Easy peasy. And that is... Into the drink. That is... He's dead. And then I also want to... Um, Artillery strike onto... Um, oh, no, hold on. I want to push him onto, onto one a of spawn these. point. Yeah. Um... But remember, wherever he's going to end up is where the his artillery strike's going to land. So if I move over here and then shove him forwards, forwards. There we go. He's yeah. That way he's going to get. Oh, we can't quite get him in. Yeah, we'll just have to drive the tank around. That's okay. The brain bug doesn't isn't telegraphing any attacks. He's down. He's going to get bumped. Right, this is my one. favorite move, bumping on the spawn point. Oh, it's so satisfying, isn't it? Because that's one less enemy to deal with, and he takes the damage. So good! Uh, okay. So our missions here are gain a money for less than four damage, gain a power for protecting the coal power plant. Which is there, which we need to protect. So that's way more important than all the other buildings. Yes. Um, uh, okay. So the, the tank could go here, shoot the brain bug, and push the brain bug, and then they both take a damage from the push. That kills the brain bug. And puts him down to two. Yeah. I think that's a nice opener. Now we don't have to worry about exploding on us. Yeah. We just need to make sure that... I mean, we can always... Hmm. We could... Oh, I want to bring the artillery to here. And push. Knock it off that way. Okay, this looks good. Because now he's not shooting anything and he's going to block spawn point. Yeah, and then we can move this boy around. Oh, we don't want to get him... S oh, no, it doesn't matter if he sinks, does it? No, no, he, he's fine. He can swim. I guess we just kill something. When in doubt. When in something. doubt, punch a bug. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm doing my part. <laughs> it's definitely a Starship Troopers <laughs> vibe, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, they're pretty hopeless, aren't they, when they get moved around? They, they get really disorientated. Yeah, they, it confuses them. But the game gets a lot harder. There's bosses coming up, and the bosses are tough. Oh, jeez. This is like Tutorial Island. Okay. And what do you want to do, man? Well, we've got two bugs. We can kill one of them. Oh, with... the tank can just um, kill this one straight up. Yeah, but we don't really need to because it's jumping onto our tank, so we can kind of leave that. You can just move, yeah. This is the one that needs to get killed. This one needs to die. Uh, so We can just go punch it. 
We can't, oh, no, he's we, webbed. We're webbed. So we want to free. Okay, so we, so we, we drive him, him to him. free. Yeah. And then we drive him up, punch that to death, and then move the artillery out of the way. Oh, the artillery can just kill him. Bam. Okay. That's some XP. And then um, our, our little Ralph has a little swim. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we're heroes. Their buildings look like pretty crappy anyway. I mean, what? Not even worth. But look saving. all those people there. All those thousand civilians protected. I know, right? They're happy with us. So, this is it. Okay. The ones we didn't complete are lost. Are destroyed. Destroyed. You can't <gasps> save them all. Oh no. Hive leader, drawn out by your. Offensive. The hive leader is assaulting corporate HQ. Corporate HQ. That's where we keep all the files. <laughs> I know. And all the coke. All the photocopiers. <laughs> <laughs> that's where we're going to have the victory office party. Oh no. Uh, what is that thing there? This is the boss of this this island. It doesn't look that boss like. Um, let's find out how bossy he is. Oh, Isaac's really nervous. Oh, he's scared. Why did you come back from the future if you were scared to fight bugs? Okay, we've got more um, bugs coming. So this guy, he will charge attack in a straight line and deal three, three damage. damage. So we have to stay out of his way. Well, can't we just knock him into that water? What else does he do? Oh, so he can walk in water. Yeah, he's water massive. Set shooting. Um, mean to water. He sets everything in his path on fire. Okay, that's good, good to know. So we have to, we have to stay though. Well, Wait first of all, we can—I mean—we can always knock back that bug onto that, bug that needs thing. Knocking back on it. So, um, um, so that's like a, an easy, easy option. Yeah. Nice. Um, we can move the mech down and punch him into the side of him. How much damage can we do to the beetle? How much life's he got? Uh, six. Six. Okay, that's quite a yeah, lot. We'll give him a punch because that hurts the other beetle. Yeah. And then can um, we knock back the other beetle into him? Oh no! no, no. Now we don't want to end our move in his way. Because then he'll kill us. Yeah, but we can move our artillery down. Hmm, I see. I'm thinking like kill, killing that other bug. Well, yeah, let's kill this one. And then these guys yeah. can take the, the knock damage. Yeah, okay. That, 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 this is easy. Oh no, hang on a sec. Now he's going to kill the... Oh, the 15% chance oh. paid off! <laughs> I forgot about that. I didn't even think that he was able to get through. Well, it's not something you want to rely on, is it? Okay, we're okay. So there's a couple more coming in here. He's almost dead though, the leader. So yeah, we he just could, needs two more damage. We can take him out. Should we do it with these two? Um, like just artillery him and, and tank it? Uh, the tank can't get a clear shot unless the artillery moves out of the way. So the artillery can go like out of the way, bomb. And then the tank can drive in. And finish him off. Finish him off. Yeah, that's true. And then he can just punch. Oh right? my god. He's like, oh, you won't need me soon. He's a, he's a coward. And then he's... This is fantastic. It's going very smoothly. We, well, we were lucky with that building, though. <laughs> yeah. I sort of forgot about the building. So you can knock back anyone, even massive units. Yeah. Oh, God. I the bet, game's all about the knockbacks, really. I bet you there's going to be, like, a bunch of aliens that knock you back, and that's going to be really hard to yeah, deal with. Yeah, I think the next, next island is going to be a lot harder. Um... Okay, I might have... I might have done goofed. Uh, no, move the artillery out the way and shell him for one. Oh no. Move the artillery out. Can you move the artillery and yeah. then move the other guy? Yeah. And then. Oh. And then I'll push him yeah. with the cannon. That's fine. That'll do. He's just going fishing, I guess. <laughs> yeah. This really feels like one of those old, like, Japanese um, kaiju movies, though. You know, like, when there's a man in a Godzilla suit fighting another man in, like, a bug monster suit. It does, doesn't it? And, I really um, like that. they're just sort of, like, throwing each other out of the way of the buildings and stuff. It's got so that he can kill... Vibe. Oh, there's another bug there. And there's just two here, and there's two here. Um, what if he moves, he can kill... He can knock that guy out. We only got one turn left, so okay. So we move him we down. Need... We ignore that one because that one's. Because that one's gonna... not attacking a building, right? Yeah. So we can move down and push. Oh no, but that'll push him into that building's way. Yeah. He's on fire though. He'll take a damage at the end of the turn from being on fire. We can knock him. Can he shoot his buddy? Can we knock him back using the artillery? Yes. Yes, we can. Make him shoot his friend. Yeah. That's nice. Okay, that's him dealt with. 
And then we just use use old mech boy to knock the other the one at the bottom out of the way. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, that makes sense. And then oh, we're no, safe. we forgot. Oh, piss! Do you want of to course. The turn? Uh, yeah, might as well. Uh... So that's old Isaac using his knowledge of the future. If you hit that bug that way, <laughs> yeah. you fools. Um, I don't think there's any way we could we could take the hit for the building, just run in front of it. Yeah, that might be the best way. Because we heal up anyway, don't we? Yeah. We could even take the hit um, for the other building. This one. No, we don't is have. Still to. a good move. Okay, this works better. We have got five health, and that's a good. And then yeah, we'll just kill that guy. Oh no! I'm an idiot. Reset turn, we got one more. <laughs> 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 oh no, okay, okay. You wanted the XP, that. didn't you? Yeah, That's I was why. hungry for XP and forgot. I did not think about the consequences of my XP farming. Uh, so he's going to take two hits, he'll be alright. He'll take one hit, he'll be alright. Um, now we hit space. Sometimes it is better to hit space. <laughs> yeah. So it turns out that if you had just hit space... We'd have been way better off. <laughs> yeah. We had to do two time travels to survive the nonsense. Oh. We're taking a bit of damage, but we're okay. Oh, God. I can't take much more. Did he get three XP or did we get three XP we for that get, kill? We got it. Okay, he's that... to death. Who gets it, though? Which mech? I think it's shared. Oh, okay. Cool. I'm not sure. Well, well maybe that's... it's just the last person to damage them. That's it, Ben. We saved Australia. We did it. Oh, you've completed it. And we get a free reward from this this bloke. We can choose a push beam, pushes all units in a line. Oh, that's pretty good. That feels really good. Uh, we can have a, a pilot that might connect twice if it does not move. Oh, double Ooh, fire. Oh, that's pretty good. Or mm. two extra grid power. Oh, I don't really think we need that. I like the oh the line. Just 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 fucking. Then again, we like the knockbacks, though, don't we? Oh, one mean? one use per battle. Mm. I like C Captain shoots twice. I think that is actually really strong. We can this give it to amazing. something like... Hmm, who can we give it to, though? Like the artillery. Can he or... fire, then move, then fire? No, I think if he doesn't... Oh, he... of course not. He has to not move He has to not I move. Uh, but look, we can, we can spend our money. Um, we can buy the Vice Fist. Oh, my gosh. Pick a unit up and throw it behind you. Amazing. That's pretty cool. That's actually relatively useful because... It's quite often that you, you need to get into a big stack to, of them. Yeah, you need to get in the way of their attack so they don't hit a building. So it does one damage, but it also disrupts them. That could go into the water or anything. Oh, yeah. Nice. Uh, the shock cannon. Uh, fire projectile that hits two times. Oh, I, I, I really like the idea of running him up to the <laughs> water's edge and just grabbing an alien, chucking it over your head. Throwing him into the water. Right, we'll buy that then. That we'll is just too much fun. Um, so you only get to buy stuff at the end, do you, here? Yeah. And then once we've left this island, we can't spend any more money here. Okay. So it's like now whenever. I think we need one of React Core because they're great. Um... What are the other things? What's that? Death, death shrapnel. We can that? sell this, this old pilot. He seems a bit rubbish. Yeah, we can sell him. We. And, but how many guy. more mechs do we get? Uh, you only have have three, but you can change. Okay, change so we only mechs. really need three pilots. But if a mech dies in a battle, that pilot, the mech, you salvage the mech and repair it, but the oh. pilot's dead forever. Okay, so we so might. It might want... be not the worst to have a spare. Yeah. On hand, just in case we lose one in the middle of a thing. Fire a non-damage projector that pushes tiles around the target. So this is like the artillery strike. Yeah, but it doesn't kill your own guys. Or oh, I like this shield projector. Ooh. Shield two tiles from damage. Twice per battle. That seems like it could be very flexible. Yeah, let's buy one of those. Okay. Um, and some power grid. And um, Man, we could, why did we get so much cash? Did we just... We good? just did all the cash money missions, I think. Let's max out our power grid. Right. Leave the island. Ah, oh, so we've got the overpowered grid. So as long as it stays full, the grid chance gets higher. What does that mean? Uh, this is the chance of a building not. Oh, I hit. see. Right. So it's gone up by two <laughs> percent. Yeah. That's great. <laughs> Something. Well, look, you could eventually get it up to um, uh, twenty-five. We were lucky. That that two, that fifteen percent chance triggered. For Saved us. us. Man, Australia secured. Now it's donut donut world. Donut world. Well, there you go. That was. Our first little playthrough of Into the Breach. Yeah. Um, me and Ben might finish this off on Lewis and Ben. So we'll go and check we it out. We should play some more. In the meantime, if you want to um, support us and buy a copy of this game, you can do. It's on GOG now. Here's a link in the description. 
Um, go and pick it up. Yeah, you get this, and you get FTL for free as well. FTL which is another amazing game for free. Which, if you haven't played that, then oh my god, like that's literally all I did when I was um, on the plane. Just, yeah, like nine hours of FTL. Um, thanks, everyone. See you all next time. Bye. Bye.